Hi everyone, this is Bob from the Netscope team and I am so excited to demo for you Netscope Digital Experience Management or DEM. Now DEM provides an end-to-end -end view and management of the performance all the way from the user's device to their app destination and all the hops in between to identify potential bottlenecks that could impact the user experience. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. So the first starting point here is I get a view for this particular window of my users. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, it looks like this user in San Ramon, California. If I click into this user, um, what I'm gonna see here is basically a summary of some of the telemetry for this user. Here's their, their, um, their email address or their identity. Uh, they might be part of a, a user group here, their location, and then their, their last activity. Now, the launching off point is really the device-centric view because users often use multiple devices. So in this case, what I'm going to do is click into this one uh, Mac device uh, that the user has been using from San Ramon, California. Here you could see that they're also connected to a Netscope POP in the Netscope New Edge network that, that is basically SFO uh, one. So I'm going to click into this. And the first thing that we also see here is we now have sp some specific uh, device characteristics. And we also assign devices a score. And the, the score of the device is based on a number of different uh, characteristics that we'll talk about in just a moment. But here we have the OS version, the CPU, uh, the device posture, is it managed versus unmanaged? Um, IP address information for both the public and private IP, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down because what we're going to do is now that we have the user tied to this device, um, we're also going to bring in what application we want to uh, monitor. And it looks like uh, Google Drive is, is a good uh, candidate here. And we also assign scores for application. This is the performance of the application, again, based on a number of different characteristics that we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, but the score out of 100, Google Drive is scoring 56, not very good. If I scroll down here, we can see the experience score for this user on this device accessing Google Drive over time. So there's been some dips in the score. Looks like it has made its way back up here, but there has been some, uh, some issues along the way. Now what we could do is we can also scroll down here and we can get a hop by hop view all the way from the user's device to the app destination. And in this case, the app destination is going to be Google Drive. Now this is extremely useful because what it allows you to do is really pinpoint where the problems of performance may, uh, may exist. So here, all the way to the left, I've got again, the user's device with, with IP address and and uh, host name and whatnot. But what you also get is you get the on-ramp uh, hops between the user's device and that Netscope uh, point of presence. So think of this as the on-ramp to Netscope. And we can also build this out a little bit and look at all of the paths. Now, one of the things you may notice is, you, you know, this is like a visual trace route, if you will. So you're getting latency between the device to each of these pops. So we have a latency measurement here. And it looks like I have quite a few um, uh, hops along the way, but, you know, basically given the crazy uh, routing that I have with my local, local ISP. Now, one thing that I also uh, make a note of is if I go back to the condensed view, after the Netscope hop, we also measure basically the latency uh, that goes between Netscope and the app destination, which is Google Drive. So eight milliseconds, not, not that bad. Now, if I click down here, now one of the things you may notice is, is if you have an issue with the device, if you have an issue with one of the hops along the way, uh, that is basically going to light up on this interface and also you'll, you'll get an alert uh, that is customizable alert that's sent to not only uh, the networking team or the net or the Netscope admin, but but also you can configure that to be sent to the uh, the user as well. Because in some cases the performance could be at the device itself. Uh, maybe 
Uh, Chrome has 67 tabs open. It's using all the CPU resources. Uh, or it could be something wrong with one of these hops along the way. Um, or in some cases, it could be an issue inside of the Netscope data center, one of the services, whether it's TLS decryption, DLP, malware, et cetera, uh, is, is causing some of the issues. So it's very important to get this end-to-end -end view. Um, if I scroll down here, we also get the on-ramp latency trend over time. And we're looking at a, a 48 hour uh, window basically. So between September 30th and October 1st, uh, on-ramp latency from the user's device uh, to the Netscope New Edge network. Uh, looking pretty good. So it's a, it's a pretty good pretty good trend there. We could also see if there were any uh, packet loss scenarios uh, tied uh, to, uh, to that on-ramp and it does not look like that's the case. Now here's where it also gets very interesting. If I go to my next section here, we can monitor basically the device level performance and health metrics. Uh, CPU and memory usage. Um, here you could see, uh, you know, basically over time we're looking for uh, for the peaks that take place, everything is looking pretty good. But if I if I hover over here and select one of these uh, sections here, um, I can also go in and see for that given time for this device for this user as they're accessing that application, uh, we can see what is using uh, the CPU at that particular time. We can also look at memory as well as uh, disk I/O for that given uh, timestamp. Um, so basically compare those uh, so you can really get down to the bottom of performance. So you get uh, disk usage, network throughput, disk I.O. If there's a battery involved, it's a laptop, you could get the battery percentage and even the Wi-Fi uh, strength because guess what? Wi-Fi could oftentimes be a culprit as well. And sometimes it's just the nature of the, the strength of the Wi-Fi or lack thereof. Uh, we could see network device events, um, you know, from log on, connect, disconnect, et cetera. Now, if I scroll down here, this is a very important metric and one that is uh, unique to Netscope because when you think of the performance characteristics between a, a user's device all the way to the app destination and you have a SASE platform like Netscope, what happens is, is the SASE platform itself could be the bottleneck, right? Um, Perhaps there's a, there's a bug in the software with regards to TLS decryption or DLP or malware. So Netscope is very transparent and we provide processing time within the Netscope security cloud. And you can look at that. And again, we're looking at a 48 uh, hour window. Looks pretty good. You know, there was one, uh, one uh, peak here that was, you know, 545 milliseconds. But other than that, it's, it's looking, looking pretty good. So this is an important part of understanding the characteristics of that end-to-end -end, uh, configuration as well. And then last but certainly not least, application metrics, right? This is the application performance. And when you think of applications, in this case, I chose Google Drive, but whether it's Google, Microsoft, Salesforce, et cetera, um, applications are all about the round trip time. And, and obviously it's all about the end user experience. How long does it take for the end user to perform an activity? But behind the scenes, it's how chatty the application is, how many round trips it takes to perform an operation, and then what is the round trip time for each of those round trips? Because as we know, in the world of networking, there's a hyper, hyperbolic decay in throughput as you increase latency. So in this case, it looks like over time, it's hovering between 12 and 14 milliseconds for each round trip. So very, very good performance. There was a 43 milliseconds uh, you know, spike at this one particular time, but nothing to, to impact performance. So we are looking pretty good. So that in a nutshell is Netscope's digital experience management. Again, providing the ability to manage the performance for a user and any of their devices as they connect to very critical applications and Netscope provides that comprehensive hop-by-hop -hop view all the way from device to the app destination and every step in between to make sure that you ensure good quality experience. Thank you very much.